Brain sucker. In the heart of South Africa, where the Mazintlava River snakes through the landscape, a terror lurks beneath the murky waters. Known to the locals as the brain sucker, this creature is no ordinary beast. It's a monstrosity of quasi reptilian nature, a horrifying blend of the familiar and the unimaginable. The story begins in a small village nestled by the river. The villagers lived in harmony with nature, respecting the river as a source of life. But in the year 1997, their peaceful existence was shattered. One by one, villagers began to disappear. Fishermen, children playing by the riverbank, women washing clothes in the river, all vanished without a trace. Panic swept through the village. The river, once a source of life, had become a source of fear. Then, the first body was found. It was a fisherman, his face horrifically mutilated, the soft parts of his head and neck eaten away. The villagers were horrified. The peaceful river had turned into a nightmare. More bodies were discovered in the following weeks, all sharing the same gruesome fate. The villagers were living in terror, their lives overshadowed by the unseen monster lurking in the river. Rumors began to circulate about the creature responsible for these atrocities. Described as a giant reptile, about 20 meters long, it had the head of a horse, the lower body of a fish, short legs, and the neck of a snake. At night, it was said to shine with a green light, a chilling beacon in the dark waters. The creature was named Mamlombo, the brain sucker. It was said to drag its victims into the depths of the river, devouring their faces to consume their brains. The villagers lived in constant fear, their lives dominated by the terror of the Mamlombo. Despite the horror, life had to go on. The villagers learned to avoid the river at night, to travel in groups during the day, and to keep a watchful eye on the water. The attacks became less frequent, but the fear of the Mamlombo never left them. Thought by many area natives to be the physical manifestation of the notorious predator known in Kosa tribal mythology as the Mamlombo, legends of this horrifying creature date back centuries. The Kosa claim that any warrior brave enough, or foolish enough for that matter, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of these monstrous beasts and survive, would be the recipient of a tremendous amount of wealth, not to mention their fair share of prestige. The story of the Mamlombo serves as a chilling reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of the waters, and the ancient terrors that can lurk in the most unexpected places. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Your support greatly benefits our channel.